Hello everybody and welcome back to the Naro Wrestling Tutorial. So today I'll be showing you how to build this awesome color combination lock. So let me just explain how it works. So here these are the these are the color combinations and we 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 are using cauldron. You can also use a composer but I'm just using cauldron. It doesn't really matter. Uh, just use cauldron or composter. And once this once this cauldron gets to here and this block here, then this piston is going to extend and this is going to unlock. But then we need to unlock this second color combination lock. Otherwise this wrestling lamp is going to be still turned on and, and your door won't open. Now that we unlock this combination lock, because I've removed that block from here, uh, it's unlocked and your piston door would open, you know. Basically, this is my first ever combination lock, but uh, let me put the correct combination there. So now the door should be opened because I've put in the right color combination. So this one is... Is that red? Yes, that is red, yes. The, this one is red and purple and this one is yellow and blue but when you want to lock this again you can't just press this you need to go in the process of you want to lock this again you need to add the exact same color combination so let me do that and now this side is locked but you can now that you've locked it you know, cycle this all the way to the back and it would be still locked until you hit this cauldron once again. And you would do that the same thing on the other side as well. But anyways, uh, that's, that's a lot of explaining. Now let's get on with the tutorial. So first of all, this should be everything that you need. Uh, you don't need this redstone lamp or this ninth repeater, you know. That's just optional for this thing in the back. Because, like, I like it like here, but that's optional. If you don't want it here, you don't need it. But feel free to pause the video here. This is all the stuff you need, and of course, blocks of your choice. And I don't know, for example, concrete blocks and wool blocks. That's that's all that you need. All of it's it's in this chest apart from those blocks. So feel free to pause the video here. But anyways, let's start it with this tutorial. So, I'm gonna take all of this with me. This is the area that you're going to need. It's, uh, that's 5 by 7. So, let's get started. So, you wanna get started by placing two pistons here and two pistons here. Then those next one will be here. Okay. And 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then place one here, and one, two, three, four, and another one here. Let's just say that here is going to be the cauldron, and you're going to need blocks of your choice, of course. Repeater, a uh, comparator, sorry. Then water bucket, and then you're going to need dropper here and here, and we'll need wool. Well, blocks of your choice. Redstone dust. Block. Okay, then like this. And like that. Redstone dust, redstone dust. And now, block here. Repeater. So, the next thing, we're going to need observers. And, let me do this. I'm gonna remove that so that I don't update it because I don't want that to update. Okay, and oops, over here. Now you're going to need sticky piston facing downwards and stick piston facing upwards, then observer facing upwards. Now you need blocks here. Okay. Now let's place in all of these blocks here at the back as well. So it should be like this. Okay, and then place in that thing. Put in the water. 
and do this. Okay, comparator. Now here at the back we'll need sticky piston and observer facing upwards, another sticky piston and two blocks like this, another one here at the middle and another one here so that you have this kind of X shape. Then we need redstone torches and redstone dust here. Here are blocks of your choice and two buttons. Now here, this is optional again, you don't need to do this, but I just place in the redstone lamp. Okay. And here, actually, before we do anything, remove these blocks and just place in the blocks here. And now you can place them back again. Now just do this. Okay, then you would have the glass here, and so on. Now we need redstone dust. Well, you don't need to do this again. This is just my preference. I just like it here, so that's why I put, put it like this. But this one, if you don't want this here, you need this redstone dust here though, because here this would go to your piston door or anything you want to unlock. So, the next thing is, what we need is place non-stick piston here and another one here as well. These are going to push down this line, so let's do that. And here, let's just place another non-stick pistons and here as well, awesome. And then here would be your blocks of your choice again. Okay, and like that. Then redstone dust here. Blocks should be here. And then uh, just tra transparent blocks so you can use slabs or glass, doesn't matter. And then redstone dust. And here, place in the block. Repeater set on four ticks block and whoops redstone dust block repeater vortex and then block here repeater set on two ticks and two blocks here and redstone dust now this should be everything but of course we need to place in the the concrete blocks or you know the wool blocks so i'm gonna quickly do that so now that, now that we've got the concrete blocks placed in, basically just repeat this pattern and place in the concrete blocks as you want to. Just you need to repeat this pattern as you can see. Oh, of course I forgot to mention that this, uh, this doesn't need to be glass. This can be blocks of your choice as well. Uh, it doesn't matter. But. Another, another thing that I wanted to say is this probably won't work on Bedrock version. Like, you can try, but I don't think it's gonna work. But anyways, so the correct combination... Uh, we need to add the correct combination, so let's do that. So now we've got the correct combination and this, yes, this extended, so this piston is now retracted. Another thing, another cool thing that you want to, that you could do, it doesn't really matter, but if you want to, you can, for example, put observer, oh, that's cool, observer, and, I don't know, emerald block, for example, and node block. Just so you know that you unlocked it, you can do this and it would let you know that you unlocked it. But this, this you don't need to do that. If you want to, you can, but you don't need to. And let's do this combination as well. So now it's unlocked. This, this node block uh, made, made a sound. And now, if you want to lock it again, you need to add in again this same color combination, so let me do that. I died because my spacebar apparently doesn't work. I don't know why, I was pressing it and it didn't work and I was just falling into the void, so 
Well, it doesn't matter. I'm in creator, but uh, so let's let's just do the same combination as well. So now, when we press this, you heard that node block, and now this side is locked. So that that would mean that the piston door would lock as well. And now you can just do this, and you got it locked. So it's basically really simple. This is actually my first combination lock, so it's not the best, but I still think that it's cool. And you do that, you do the same thing on the other side as well. I'm just going to place in the block here because I'm too lazy to do it. But anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did so, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you're new here. But anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. So for now guys, see ya.